When it comes to getting the COVID-19 vaccine, some of you might have trouble actually getting to your appointment. Yeah, luckily there's a new and free resource you can use on Indy's Far East Side to get your shot. Our Rick Pointer joins us live now from the newsroom. EP, why is this new resource needed on that side of town here? So portions of the Far East Side are considered a food desert, meaning they're not nearby a grocery store. So some people are already having trouble accessing food and getting a ride to get a COVID-19 vaccine adds another hurdle. Indigo has partnered with the health department to hold a vaccination clinic in their new future headquarters. City County Council for that area, Lakeisha Jackson, says that there is also a push to educate more people about the vaccine and the potential effects to encourage more people to get it. She says that people have probably heard about the vaccine, but it's important for them to actually get information so that they can make a well informed decision to get it instead of feeling like it's being forced on them. Now, the clinic has the capacity to provide vaccines for hundreds of people a day, and the bus route gives direct access to those in the far east side who rely on public transportation and may not be able to get there otherwise. You think of a person, a senior, a disabled, a person who has to choose between getting uh, groceries, spending their money on getting access and groceries, going to the doctor or uh, going to work to go on to take that money to get a vaccine uh, shot. Indigo offering free bus rides, uh, transportation to vaccinations, I think is huge because it doesn't force residents um, to make that critical um, decision. There's a bus route in the far east side that serves as a shuttle to get people to the clinic and you do actually have to pay that bus fare to get there so people can take route 87 and again unfortunately you pay the bus fare to get to that side and it's on east 33rd street appointments are recommended but walk-ins are welcome and there are also more resources available to get free rides including from lyft and uber and we've got details on how you can use those on our website in the newsroom eric pointer cbs4 news all right